Local advertisers have been using social media for a while now, and they've developed opinions on its use. In this Local Marketing Minute, we'll explore things like measurement and targeting, and I promise not to get too crabby. Welcome to Corey's Local Marketing Minute, an enlightening and entertaining look at what's happening in the world of local advertising and marketing. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by Adcelerant. Adcelerant provides best-in-class digital advertising solutions. Our proprietary technology covers your entire sales funnel, from proposal creation and campaign launch to monitored performance. We collaborate with local media companies and agencies to deliver excellent customer service, sales support, campaign management, and more. As an industry leader, we'll go above and beyond to ensure your success. Unlock your digital advertising potential with Adcelerant. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Local Marketing Minute. I'm your host, Corey Elliott, and today we're going to explore some of the opinions local businesses have around social media, specifically the how, how do they target, and what, what do they measure. But before we get into that, please subscribe, like, and comment, and share all those things you hear other short-form video people do. Do that, because it does help out. Okay, a couple of videos ago, we talked about social media and its use among local advertisers. And I know it seems like we talk about it a lot, but that's because local advertisers are talking about it a lot. You might have moved on, but they haven't. Just to remind you, we posed a whole series of social media questions to our SMB panel. 88% of the panel used social media in some way, and 68% actually bought stuff on social media. Well, they didn't buy stuff on social media, they bought marketing on social media. 31% said they're gonna use it more more this year than they did in the past, and 24% want to try a new platform. So it's very important to them, and we get the sense it's the one thing they feel they can control a little bit, if they want to, if they aren't paying somebody else to manage their social media. And it's also very, very personal, as opposed to an ad in a newspaper or on the radio. They feel this is more directly connected to them. So we think it's worth, being the grand marketers you all are, it's worth understanding what they expect out of social media, or how they expect to use it, right, wrong, or other. It's good to know where their head's at. So there are two things I want to cover, targeting and measurement. Let's start with targeting. Okay, what we learned is that out of all of those local businesses that spend money on social media advertising, 95% of them say they target in some way. Well, how do they target? We gave our SMB panel this long list. And if you can't read it, get closer to the screen or listen to me. Age, family role, favorite brand, gender, hobbies, income slash wealth, job title, location, nationality, and other. And we asked, in what ways do you target your social media advertising? Choose all that apply. So here's what I want you to do. Take a moment to look over this list. And I want you to choose what 80% of them said they target on. In other words, the number one answer up here had 80% of the panel saying, yeah, that's how we target. And I'll make it easier. I'll take away anything that didn't have at least 25% of the panel saying they do it or they target that way. There you go. Now you're left with four. Age, hobbies, income, wealth, and location. Let's start with number four. Hobbies. 25% of the panel said that's how we target. Or one of the methods we target. Or one of the methods we target with. Ignore that dangling preposition. In third place, with 30%, income and wealth. Which, of course, by deductive reasoning, leaves two. Age and location. Which one did 80% of them say that's how we target? Location. Age came in at 61%, but four out of five local advertisers say, yeah, we target on location. It's all about location. Location, location, location. Damn. You know what? If there was just some way that you could talk to a local advertiser about the exact geography that they should be concerned about or where their customers come from, better yet, where their competitors' customers come from, then you could target those areas. Man, if there's just something Maybe someday a research company with a very handsome spokes model will come up with some kind of tool, some kind of local scope, I don't know. Anyway, boy can dream. But location and age, got it. Now let's talk about metrics. How do they judge how well their social media advertising is doing? Okay, the question was, which of the following metrics do you track? I only put four up here, because three of these are in the top three, and the fourth one was such a stark... You know what? I'll explain in a minute. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Which one of these was number one? Impressions. 83% of local advertisers who market on social media actually buy social media ads. They look at impressions. Then 74% said reach. And then coming in at number three, likes, comments, shares, saves, engagement factors. Those are the top three. Whether that's right, wrong, or other with what they're doing, that's how they're measuring it. Now, I put 
conversions up here. So I think this is kind of interesting when you look at it versus those local advertisers who say they're just using social media, not buying ads on social media. And something kind of interesting happens down here too. Okay, so these would be those local businesses of Zizzizz, good Lord, those local businesses that buy social media ads. These guys over here just say they use social media, market themselves, not necessarily buy ads. Get the difference? Something kind of interesting happens down here where the number one answer is now engagement factors, the number two, reach, and number three, impressions. So there's a big difference between those who just use social media and those who buy something on social media. So what about this? Why'd I put this up here? Well, check this out. For the people who don't spend any money on social media, only 5% said they look at conversions as a way to gauge the effectiveness of social media. But if you buy ads on social media, that jumps up to 39%. Now granted, not as high as these other things, but a hell of a difference between the people who buy and the people who just use. So this has been a little peek into how local advertisers, after a good decade or so of playing around with social media, actually think about how to use it, how to target it, location and age, and how to measure it. Good things to think about when you're bringing their social media work into an entire campaign. And if you're curious about what I was referring to earlier in this video about local scope, stick around after the next commercial and there'll be a little 30 second video describing what it is and where you can go check it out. So should I end this thing with like another crab joke? No, they, they, they'll like it, they'll like it. Like, like something like with local scope, you'll find as many insights as there are crabs on my shirt. Like you could have a good case of crab. You've been watching Corey's Local Market Minute, sponsored by our friends at AdCelerant. Learn more at AdCelerant.com. Local Scope. Business owners might tell you they already know who their customers are, but do they really? Using GPS data from smartphones, Local Scope unlocks powerful insights into customer behavior and psychographics by mapping travel patterns from doorstep to storefront. But it goes beyond that. It also maps the competitor's customers. Want to give it a try? Just go to localscope.com and fill out the contact form.